DreAllDay.com. What up, everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. Here we go. We got 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes on the clock. I got the timer running right here. We are talking. Here's the timer. We talking relationships. What's up, Rosinda? We're talking relationships. 10 minutes Q&A. Y'all go ahead, post your questions. My name is Dre Baldwin. Many know me, Dre, all day. I'm from Philly. Live in South Florida, but I'm answering y'all questions here. It ain't about me, but if you ask me, I'll answer. So we're doing 10 minutes Q&A. Please swipe to the right, share this on your feeds, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Periscope. Shout out to everybody on YouTube and everybody watching on replay. What's up, Royal Queendom? What's up, Nina Young? Mikey, DK, Blozor, Tyler Allen. Happy Saturday to you, too. What's good, Tyler? Listen, I'm taking questions. This is a live Q&A right now. Why did I block that guy? Cause I felt like it. That was really that's really the best answer. <laughs> How do you get a girl to be attracted to you? You become as attractive as you think that girl is. What's up, Kissable XO? So however attractive you think she is, you gotta make her. You gotta become that person. How do you maintain a long distance relationship? Communication. Talk to her on the phone. Now you got Periscope. Y'all can do a private Periscope. Just you and her. Y'all can do anything on that. Skype. Um, what's the thing called? FaceTime. Heaviest squad I've ever done. I don't even know. You need some advice on college admissions. Call the admissions advisor and ask them to help you out because they want people to come to their school. Colleges, listen, colleges want people at the school because y'all pay them money. All right, colleges look at each one of y'all like a big dollar sign. But having an active social life negatively affects someone's basketball consistency. Well, it depends on what you do consider to be active. What kind of girl do I go for? See, me personally, I think everybody in the world, you go for the type of person you are. So if you're a five, you're going to go for five. If you're a 10, you're going to go for a 10. This girl I like is giving me mixed signals. Like what? What are the signals, KJ? My question is, I'm 33. I've never done online dating. Should I? Are you a male or a female? Is that a male or a female? Where do you find men? Anywhere. You talking to a man right here. There's a bunch of men watching this. My favorite color is black. What's more important, education or actual experience? Experience. I talked about that earlier today. How do you build better relationships when negotiating business? Then you make people a friend. Be a person. Don't just be a, or you're a female, you consider concerned about online dating, go do it. Just do it. Give it a shot. The worst thing that happen is you meet the wrong guy. Or well, the worst thing that happen is you meet the Craigslist killer and he, he strangles you. But other than that, listen, life's going to kill you anyway. You might as well just go for it. What do you think the signs of being in the friend zone? Signs of being in the friend zone is when you try to do something that's more intimate and they push off, then it's probably like they're putting you in the friend zone. They're not interested. How do you get a girl back that you've lost? You might not be able to get her back. You know the R. Kelly song, when a woman's fed up. <laughs> Ain't much you could do about it. How do I cook my girl in a game of one-on-one? -on -one? Work on your game. You got to step your game up. Yeah, I'm trying to do these one question at a time, but this is, this is how I get better at it. This is how I get good. So let's keep it going. Should body counts matter? How many men a woman has had sex with? Well, it's up to you. I mean, that's a personal preference. Me, personally, I don't think that really matters. I mean, if you're interested in a girl, you're interested. Now, with her past, if you want to care about that, you care. She said, we hung out, she kissed me, and the next day she's ignoring you. Or maybe she didn't like the way you kissed. Maybe your breath was bad. Maybe she's, maybe she's playing hard to get. You got to go for it and find out what's up. What's up, Gia? We're going to talk soon, Gia. The thing is, you can just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? If she's not interested and you ask her and she just says, hey, I'm not interested, at least now you know. How you let a girl know you're too busy to, with basketball? Be honest. Be honest with the girl. All women appreciate honesty. Even if you are telling them, listen, all I want with you is to have sex with you. I'm only interested in you because I'm physically attracted. I just want to have sex. Even if she's not interested in it, she's going to respect you for being upfront and clear about it. Ladies, if you're listening, can you agree or disagree with what I just said? Yeah, right, see? There you go, right there. Be honest about it. So if you tell a girl, listen, I think we better off as just friends or I'm only just physically attracted. I don't want to date you. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want a wife. I just, I'm just looking to have sex and hang out because I, I think you're cool and attractive. They'll be happy with that. But don't front and act like you want to be her boyfriend when that's not what you want because then she's going to hate you. Trust me, I've seen it happen. What's you say to a girl to get them interested in you? Be yourself. How do you, how, how do you don't forget you're in a relationship? You need to get in a better one so then you won't have to not forget. <laughs> Honesty is always respected, of course. See, the, lady, the ladies are confirming what I just said, ladies and gentlemen. Do I believe in fate you'll end up with who you're meant to be with? Yes, because if the person who you're with is who you're meant to be with, if it wasn't true, you'd be with somebody else. So yes, absolutely, you will end up with the person you want to be with. How do you become the center of attention? Do something that's worthy of everybody's attention. Simple as that. Whatever that happens to be, you got to do something that's worthy of people paying attention to you. I know this is immature, but how do you fix shyness around girls? That's not immature. There are grown men who are shy around girls. How do you fix it? Start talking to girls. You need to get with like hits, like the Will Smith movie. Uh, what do I talk about with a girl when I first meet her? 
Well, look at my video about networking. I'm going to do a Q&A about networking tonight because people ask me a lot of stuff about how to talk to people. I'm actually, in 2016, I'm writing a whole book about communication, just how to talk to people in business and relationships just as a person because I see a lot of people have a challenge with that. How do you know if a girl is interested? The eyes never lie, ladies. I mean, fellas, the ladies already notice. Uh, ladies notice stuff innately. Fellas don't know. Men don't know anything about women <laughs> in general. The eyes never lie. When you look a woman in her eyes, you can tell if she's interested in you or if she's not. You can tell just that quickly. The problem is most guys, they see it subconsciously. They see it, but they, they the message doesn't get to their conscious mind. So they miss out on their opportunity for talking to the girl. The girl's interested, but you just miss your chance. How do you make a good first impression? By being a good person. Whatever you want your first impression to be, work on making that impression at all times. The way you dress, the way you walk, the way you talk, the look in your eyes, you know, the way your breath smells, your energy. How do you end a relationship without hurting her? Well, if she still wants to be in a relationship, she's going to be hurt. But listen, you're going to make it worse by making it fester and lasting too long. So if the relationship's over, don't wait six months to end it. Just end it. End it now and say, listen, this relationship's over. I'm not interested in being in it anymore. She's going to be upset. But you still got to walk away. Over time, you know she's going to respect you in the long run for at least being a man about it. What do I think it means if a girl calls you cute? Is that the friend zone? Not necessarily. A girl could call you cute and want to have sex with you that night. She'd call you cute and think you're just a cute guy that she's not interested in at all. A boyfriend is too confusing? Well, it depends. So look at all your videos on networking for conversation tips. I made a couple of them. I'm going to make more. So just keep following me here. What's going on, Dion B? All right, we got three minutes and 30 seconds left in this Q&A. We talking relationships. How do you know if a guy is interested? Listen, a guy, if a guy is interested, it's going to be very, very obvious. Now, some guys might be a little bit shy about, you know, being a little bit more forward. I don't think there's a problem with a woman making the first move. I think most women are interested in the man making the first move. But if you are trying to find out if he's interested, listen, why don't you just ask him? Say, hey, are you interested? Are you interested in dating me or not? Do I feel like a relationship is a job? No. I don't think that. I'm dating a girl. She's acting. What What was that word? I got like four questions at the same time. I didn't even I only caught one of them. So whoever I question, I missed post it again. We got three minutes left in this Q&A. We talking relationships. If you think the girl is acting fake, then do something that could prove that she's acting fake. Do something that it would prove whether she's A or B. Or you could also just ask her. How do you hang out and talk to girls that you don't want to date? What you mean? Girls you just want to have sex with? Once you talk to them, have a conversation and say, listen, yo, I'm just interested in having sex with you. I'm not looking for a relationship. This, things that you'll find, men, and, men out there, you'll find that there are women who are looking for the exact same thing. But if you try to front and act like you want all this long-term relationship and you don't, that's when you get conflict and you get women hating you and never speaking to you again. Haven't seen me in about two years. BJ the guy, well, where you been at? I've been everywhere. He just started being controlling. Well, hey, then you might need to get out of that relationship. You got to ask yourself if you want to be in it or if you don't want to be in it. Communication is communication is the key to any relationship, business relationship, friendship, team relationship, boss, employee relationship and intimate relationships. It's always about y'all have two boys. Don't let that be the reason that you stay. Listen, y'all can still be parents to your kids without you being there in a relationship with the dad because you don't want your parents to grow up. You don't want your kids to grow up and see their parents in a, a negative relationship because that, that's what they're going to think they need to do. So you want them to understand, listen, we, mommy and daddy broke up because it's the best for both of us as adults, but we're still your parents. We still love you. We're still there for you. You'll still see dad. You'll still see mom whenever you want to. So that's, that's the most important thing. You're a stay at home mom. Okay. So what, why is that a problem? Is that a good thing? Bad thing? What do you mean by that divine two, one, three? I think my girl likes other boys. All right, maybe she does have a conversation again. Open your mouth and ask her. All right, Gia, talk to you later. Do, do you not think being up front can make you come across as a creep? No. What makes you come across as a creep is if you're not up front and you have a, a hidden agenda aside from what you're putting out there in front of things. So put it up front so that people know. The funny thing that you'll find in life, ladies and gentlemen, when you're completely honest with people about what you want, you'll find that number one, they're going to respect you more. Number two, a lot of them will want the same thing that you do. But if neither one of y'all want to open your mouths and say anything, then nobody's going to know. And then both of y'all playing games it's like a game of shadows. And then in the end, it just ends up with hurt feelings and people not, not liking each other. And then it affects their future relationships. How do you go about contacting a girl after getting the number? Golden Hoops, you dial it on your phone and you push call. <laughs> and then when they answer, you talk. That's how you go about contacting him. He feels like he has all the control because he works and I don't. Well, then that's a simple way to solve that problem. Start working. Start making your own money so then you'd be good. Wendy Williams calls it F.U. money. I've heard women call that. You need to have a stash of F.U. money. So if it ever becomes F.U., you can take your money and go do your thing. But if you ain't got no F.U. money, then I guess you can't say F.U. Well, you got it, then you good.
If you want to get out, get out. I get what I want with honesty. Demi Jewel just put it right there. Dion said, I'm crying over here. Well, I, I guess that's a good thing, Dion. I'm glad that you're crying. We got 10 seconds left. One more question. We wrapping this up. I'm coming right back with my next Q&A on a different topic. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. This video, I'm sure you were entertained. Make sure to stay connected with me on all your favorite social networks. Twitter and Periscope at Dre All Day. Instagram, Dre Baldwin. Facebook slash Work On Your Game. You can bookmark my YouTube channel by subscribing, of course. And the website is Work On Your Game. That's dot M-E. Work On Your G-A dot M-E. And of course, my homepage is my website, DreAllDay.com. So you can know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it, and how you might be able to be involved. Work on your